Uh, well, we've got uh, plans to do minor improvements to the junction as well as to uh, resurface it, which is more of uh, really a maintenance activity. Uh, the improvements are to ease this inside lane here, uh, which is on the route from uh, Douglas down to the south. Uh, because at present, when a large vehicle's in that rather narrow lane, it blocks both lanes, which impedes uh, the traffic flow through the junction. Uh, so we're hoping that by widening that out, uh, we'll improve flow, particularly in the evening rush. The other improvements are that, uh, although there aren't large numbers of pedestrians uh, trying to cross here, uh, any that do have quite a, a difficult time of it because there aren't footways on all sides and the natural desire line is, is across the middle here. Uh, the alternatives mean walking a long way really off in each direction and most pedestrians just won't be bothered to do that. Uh, so one of the things we're also doing is to put some uh, uh, islands in the centre which will replace the infamous uh, white and red plastic. Uh, you said it, uh, those are much hated by most people. They are, they've, they've caused uh, a lot of interest and uh, chagrin over the, over the years and uh, uh, people will, I'm sure, will be pleased to hear that they will uh, finally be, be going. How does this affect the TT though? A lot of people will ask about that because everyone's very concerned that it changes to the course itself. Yes, well obviously uh, this junction is at the end of uh, the main straight of the TT in effect. And uh, what we are doing is that we'll be installing some sockets which will allow us to uh, put in some temporary uh, pedestrian guardrail. Uh, and that will be uh, specifically used during the MGP and the TT uh, racing that happens here to protect uh, spectators uh, so that they can continue to spectate safely at this location. This is a, a much simpler undertaking than the one that was originally planned as a massive sort of what four million pound uh, redevelopment of the whole area. W will, will this do the trick? Uh, well the, the honest answer to that is no not really. Uh, the honest answer is uh, this is really to attend to the maintenance issues. If you look carefully at the carriageway surface here, you'll see that it's uh, quite badly deformed in places. Uh, so that's a concern both for racing but also for, for the general public who, who use this junction. Uh, the larger scheme was a £4 million project uh, which uh, was to uh, turn the whole area into a large single roundabout which would have uh, had some benefits in terms of uh, traffic congestion at this critical location. This is really one of three strategic locations on the island's network where there is significant congestion each day. But the price tag of £4 million pounds, uh, has uh, perhaps put the politi politicians off a little bit uh, in terms of funding this one at the moment. It's there on the back burner, uh, but uh, I don't think it's going to be coming forward any time soon, given the financial constraints uh, that the island's working on at the moment. Finally, what sort of disruption will there be for people using their cars over these weekends? Uh, well, it should be uh, relatively minor. There's uh, six weeks' work starting from the 24th, but the first four weeks is to attend to the, the widening, the moving of the kerb, there's a water main to relocate, and there's the sockets to put in to accommodate this new pedestrian, uh, temporary pedestrian barrier. Uh, then on the first weekend of the bank holiday, which is the, uh, I'll just check my notes actually to make sure I get the dates right, it's the 19th and the 20th of February, uh, the road will be completely closed. Uh, and on the first day we'll be planing out the entire area, so that's round both roundabouts and a short distance down each of the approaches. Uh, the second day of the first closure will be to lay the surface on the main route uh, between Peel and Douglas. And then uh, the week after we will be uh, installing this temporary pedestrian barrier just to check that we've got it right and when we come to the racing we will actually be able to install it uh, successfully. The second weekend of the, uh, the, the, the half term uh, week will be finishing off the remainder of the surfacing that we haven't done in the first closure and um, then after that we'll be putting the central islands in uh, to complete the job. Uh, but so uh, the only closures are during those two weekends. Uh, during the rest of the time there will be narrow lanes which will impede traffic flow a little bit uh, but it won't be, it, it won't be too bad uh, for the travelling public. They may have to an hour an extra 10 minutes or something on their journey to work and to get home in the evenings and we hope people will be patient with us while we do this, this work.